What's up, y'all? I'm gonna give you guys a look at my collection of Microman figures. Now, if you're not familiar with these, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Uh, these are from around the early to mid 2000s, and they're Japanese toys by Takara. Uh, the Microman line goes back, like I, I believe, maybe to the like the 70s. I think the original version was the Micronauts, and I actually have some Micronauts toys from when I was a kid. Uh, but these came out uh, around 2000, I don't know, anywhere from around 2002 on up. I don't know if they're even making Microman figures anymore, but I, I collected quite a few while I could. As you can see, there's two separate bins here because there was two separate kinds uh, of Microman figures. There's a Microforce line, which is like the original line, and by original I mean like um, it's an original property. And these are in a 4 inch size, but they're not 118 scale. I don't know the complete backstory, but if I'm not mistaken, supposedly with the, the Microforce line, uh, these are actual, I don't know if they're miniaturized human beings, or, or they're, they are just beings that are, are that small, like this is supposed to be their actual size in the real world. Now I could be wrong so don't quote me on that but if I remember right I think that's what it is. And then there was the micro action line. This to me this is like the, this is the good stuff. This was the the really cool basically it was licensed properties um, and so these are you know in the four inch size so they are 118 scale figures. You can see there's a Batman one here. There's a, a bunch of other uh, licensed figures. There was a Predator there's some Street Fighter ones, Chen Li and Sakura. I'll go ahead and pull these out and then give you guys a closer look. So here's the Microforce figures. I'm not going to go into too much detail with these. Uh, I I really don't know like too much about these, these figures and the characters that they actually were. After a while, they all kind of look the same. They're <laughs> a mix of uh, color and, and chrome. But if you want to learn more about Microman, there's a really great resource site out there, which is what I used to use to, to figure out who was who, uh, what was out, what was available. Micro Forever, just Google it. I don't know, it might be microforever.com or, or Google Micro Forever, or even just Google Microman, then you, you know, I'm sure there's lots of other pages where you can learn about them. There's a couple of female ones. Um, they were often referred to as Micro Ladies. And then these four right here, I think these might be uh, the Bio Machine ones. Uh, which they all came with pieces to form this big uh, mech right here. That's really cool. You may notice on these that, that they don't have hands on. Uh, that's because they came with a mix of hands. Uh, that was one of the really cool things about these. They they had, uh, I don't know, about, usually like each figure had about eight different hands, different poses and different uh, ways you can articulate them. Plus you should be able to notice they're highly articulated. They all used uh, a few different same body types uh, and all the articulation was standard on these. There's a few more. Unfortunately some of the earlier ones had had fragile parts and these were actually no there I would say there are fragile in general I mean most of them aren't gonna just break on you this one was broken out of the package but these aren't these were made for collectors uh, and hobbyists. They're not really like the ones meant for play so they will break on you, but they, they did come, as you can see, and you know, fortunately you can't really appreciate uh, their accessories because they're all just in the bags. They all came with a ton of awesome accessories. I and mean, this one, here's another micro lady right there. That one's really cool. And then this one had like his accessories formed like a little motorcycle vehicle. There was a Batman in classic blue and gray. And then there was also a Batman. It's not exactly black. It's more like a really dark bluish gray. There's Batgirl and Catwoman. Then there's this really cheesy Batman. I don't know what it was called but it's it's kind of like more along the lines of the Microforce line. It was like a, a weird uh, original design Batman all chromed out and stuff. Then there was the Batman Begins version of Batman. That one's really cool. And his cape has a wire in it so it's posable. And then there's one based on the movie version of Kashern. Top of his helmet is right there. Really cool Predator one from Aliens vs. Predator. I'm not sure which one this is exactly, but I think it's the Scar Predator. There's Devil Man. This one's one of my favorite ones, as well as, uh, forget her name, I believe it's Celine. A couple from Street Fighter is Chun Li and Sakura. These are definitely two of my favorite ones. And then a few from Neon Genesis Evangelion. And these five right here are from a game called Tatsunoku Fight. 
It's kind of like a Marvel versus Capcom type of concept. It pitted a bunch of heroes from classic Japanese anime, including Kashirin, which was originally an old school anime before they uh, made an updated movie. And these two were from some tokusatsu show, which uh, I don't even know. It, tokusatsu is a live action Japanese, kind of like Power Rangers. And this one, if I'm not mistaken, was some sort of rare exclusive. It's like a Japanese wrestler, Devil Lock. These three were neither part of the Micro Force or Micro Action Line. They were called Material Force, and they were basically blank bodies. I used to have a bunch more. As you can see, I've just got uh, three female bodies right here. But I used to have some male ones as well. And these were perfect for, for customizers. They were basically blank bodies. You can use their parts or, or paint it or whatever. That's my collection. It's not very big. There's still quite a lot that I never got. There's still a few I, I, I would like to add to my collection uh, to add to these Batman ones. There was also a Supergirl and a Superman. I don't know if they ever did a warrior alien, but I know they did a queen alien. Really cool figures. You know, I love the 4-inch scale, 118 scale. It is my scale of preference for action figures. And, you know, with, with the Microman line, you got some really cool figures.